You're alright guys, Muppets Calplex here, and um, oh, my brain is dead currently. Don't know what to think of. I'm that cluster of ideas. Also, earphones have changed. My left earbud on my other one's uh, broke. It just stopped producing any sound, and now I can hear with both ears again. I need to get some like proper actual ones, like good earphones. These are just like mobile phone ones, which now you can't really get them. You have to buy them separately, and oh, whatever. It's very one-sided, you know, when you listen to audio and it's just very stuck to the left it's or to the right it's very ugh. at first i didn't notice it because i literally just had it in one ear when i when you put the other one in and then there's still nothing it makes you go what let's try i luke gave me some tips on dry docks i can't remember what my pb was i think it was like 32 which is really really far from world record so he said come off of here all right don't do that but whatever oh damn i lost all speed Going really well. They even just said, just go up there, but don't actually do a trick. And it's easier to get into, you know? I'm actually trying to find out what world record it is and see what if I can even get close to it. Because normally I'm like a good couple of K away, except from like Mega Park. Mega Park's 90k, and I'm still on 80k. How do I lose my speed? I land. I literally land, and then people, I lose speed. Maybe it's different online. This is the one which is beneficial to play online. Why? 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 That reboot was so weird. This map apparently is very RNG basis. So like, you got to get lucky pretty much. There we go. Look at this height. And it please. Okay. Okay. We'll land this. Uh, I'll go into... I'll take 35. I'll take 35. Messed up a lot. I messed up a lot on the infinite pops, but I'll take 35. It's better than 32. It's still awful, but I got a good drop. Ah, so that's another reason why Luke said not to ollie off of that, just to let yourself fling up. It's just you don't. You can land back into the ramp and keep your speed more consistent. Now it's just a force of habit. I've got to try and break. That that's way too low. I should be getting 8Ks off of these. I know I can get so much higher than 35. It's just a lot of grinding for it, you know? Getting used to the map, getting used to the techniques. Not doing stuff like this. It's weird how every map in Skate 3 has got its own little, like, tips and tricks. No howls and stuff. And not going into the ocean. Here we go. Look at this height. Okay then, gobble me up, why don't you? Eat me for dinner. Take me out. Here we are. Nearly 9k off of that drop, that's delicious. By well, now I've lost a lot of speed, which is fine. I'll just... Ah, that was so echo in it. So it seems like my threshold right now on this map is like 35, but with that's like I need to actually learn what to do, methods and stuff. I am far from the best. I am so bad when it comes to this stuff. See, that wasn't a great half hype. But this is what I have to do, you know. I have to sit at a map, face it for a while, and then all of a sudden you just start seeing these little increments of being better. Sometimes you get those random jumps. Like I remember when I was going for the ditch, I think I jumped from like 45 to 47. So massive 2k increase. I was like, oh, I'll take that. Also, I actually was going to talk about how I would have a new chair by now. But unfortunately, I got scammed off eBay. So that's great. I was getting one of those like really nice professional chairs just because I'd sit at this chair a lot. It'll be good for my back. It'll be good for my ass. Because with a chair, you know, I've got one of these like foam buttons, which it's comfortable for like a couple of minutes. But then after about you've been working for four hours in this chair and it's just like, no, but I ain't paying full price one. I paid for it off eBay because it was second hand, which is fine, really. It doesn't really bother me too much as long as it works and I can clean it. But I am not paying a grand for a chair. A chair. There were other ones on eBay which are a lot cheaper, like 
hundred pounds, but you have to collect them in person. They're halfway across the country. But I can't drive still. How was that not clean? I should have just gone up again, shouldn't I? Thirty-five two, again hitting that. Con I'm being consistent. I feel like if I went up again, I would have got a lot better, a lot more height. I still had speed. I don't know why I stopped. I used to have one of the. I think if you guys remember or not, I used to have one of those like racing chair types, which look cool. Yes, feel absolutely awful. Never get those chairs. Looking from experience here, don't get those chairs. I'm not too sure about like secret labs though. Secret labs actually they look good, but I've had a lot of people talk really good about them. But I don't know. But I'd always recommend like a mesh chair like this because this is super supportive on your back. I haven't had any back problems on this chair. It's just all on my butt, which is not great because the one thing you put all your pressure on when you sat down is your butt. The buttocks. Now, if there's a chair which will make my ass dumpy, I did not just say dumpy. You know what us gays like. We like thick ass. But no, I was very, very looking forward to the new chair. It'll be a lifesaver, but now I guess I can, if I can get my money back from eBay. Uh, <laughs> if I get my money back, that'll be good. Um, yeah, spending that much money and losing it always uh, not great, but um, hopefully eBay sorts this out. But it's weird though, because the guy had really good reviews and all of a sudden gone. It's just all negative reviews. Everyone else thought the same. It was a decent deal for the chair, and now it's gone. I ain't got. I ain't gonna stress yet. Money will come back. eBay hopefully will sort it out, and I can get my money back, and I can put that money towards the proper chair. You know, I may just have to fork out a grand for the chair. Everything nowadays is just expensive. Like I want to upgrade my phone at some point. Upgrading this is going to be... Uh, right now, it does everything I need it to do. There's no problem. The only thing is the camera sometimes is a little bit wonky on it. Just is. When I open the camera, if I want to take a quick shot of like if I'm walking somewhere and I see like a perfect photo opportunity of like a squirrel eating something. I'm like, oh, that looks cute. I'll take a photo of it and then just get this blurry effect, you know. Well, that photo opportunity is gone because the squirrel is gone and I've lost it because of the camera. My, oh, it's really weird though because my Samsung Note 9 had the same problem. I returned it, got the 10, it wasn't a problem, and now it's the same problem. I may be going back to Apple. But the one thing which took me away from Apple was the Touch ID. I've always loved Touch ID. I know there is Face ID, but I just don't like it. I'm never sometimes looking at my phone, I still unlock my phone. And the one reason why I brought this chair as well is because it had a, a thick bottom base. But I'm now having to use a bit of foam on my ass. And it's memory foam, so it goes down, but then doesn't... It's not any form of support. It's just the only foam I have. And the problem is, I brought this new chair, 300 quid, thinking I won't need to upgrade to a new one. This one will be perfect. Oh, it was I wrong. All right, so I'm on Xbox now, because um, I tried doing it... I tried doing the skate park on, actually, like, Dyes' thing again, but it's still laggy, and I, I don't know what's causing it. Maybe it's just I'm running at 4K? I don't think so. Yo... But it lagged now anyway, and I thought, why not give online a go? <laughs> yeah, I don't know who made this graphic as well. My man Wicked made that graphic. I know one person who will know that name. That's Scare. There may be some other people in there. I made that monster graphic. That monster jersey, I made that in 2013. I pressed Y. Daddy zooms. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Daddy zooms. Uh, at least I, at least I didn't have to restart the game. Hello, peoples. Why? Like I come on Xbox to try, you know, something new. What I don't understand is why there's a massive gap in between all of that. That's one thing I miss about the 360 days. You know, you'd be able to join a lobby. Everyone was talking. Now everything's kind of like muted, you know? No one will talk. I made that monster energy graphic. Back on the skate.create. Lasergan's back. All right. That's how afraid I am of judos, all right? You see how quick I saw that come up and I spammed A. Also, I want to give a shout out to the Hippie Jump podcast. Uh, I was invited along to him to do a like, interview style thing. But if you want to, you can check it out. It's a uh, link down below. I also put like a little card up here for you. Yeah, it was really good interview. Really nice dude. I really do recommend you check him out. And if you want to listen to his other stuff as well, ask you at it. Thank you for having me along. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this really shit video. I am so sorry. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and a week. Sorry again. And hopefully I'll find something to do for next time.
Be the outro.